Seems like I've been working in the coal fire a little bit more often lately. Welcome back to Black Bear Forge and the tool of the day. Since I have been using the coal fire more, I thought I would just briefly discuss some of the tools that come in real handy if you are working in a coal, coke, or charcoal forge. One of the most used tools is a rake, and that's just used for pulling coal up onto the fire. You can use it for breaking up big chunks of coke as well if it, you've got big pieces you need to deal with, but mostly it really is just used as a rake. And these come in quite a few different varieties, or I shouldn't say come in, you, you pretty much have to make your own. I've never seen anybody selling them. This really simple rake was made out of a piece of junk I found in the road when I first started blacksmithing and was the very first thing I made after I made my own little brake drum forge with the old vacuum cleaner motor. And it's a really a pretty good rake, even though it's simple. Has no real artistic flair to it. It is just a basic functional tool and it still does the job 30 plus years later. This is another sort of a rake. This one's not really good. There's just not enough there to really rake. So a little short point like this doesn't really do you a whole lot of good. I hope you can see the dark tools against the dark coal there. Really, when you're working a fire, the temptation is to just use your hand, which gets your hands really filthy dirty. And if you've got hot coals around the outside, that's a good way to burn yourself. So the ideal rake probably looks just like that. And I need to make one like that. It would be similar in shape to this, but maybe an inch and a half wide, and that would be much better. Sounds like another good video topic if you ask me. A coal shovel to get coal out of the bucket or bag or barrel, wherever you keep it, is handy so that you can bring coal in and feed the fire. And a small shovel or a paddle is handy. It can work similar to a rake, but it also helps pick up coal and actually move it to the other side of the fire or wherever you need to to move it to, so you don't always just have to rake, you can do some shoveling. And I've got a couple of different shovels. This one's riveted together, this one was forge welded, this one has been used so much the edges are starting to burn off of it because I use it to heat small parts in as well as, as a shovel. But very useful little tools around the, the forge. Another good video topic. A watering can is another thing you'll need if you're working with coal. Frequently you want to water the edges of the coal and that helps it coke up, keeps the fire under control. So then you can pack the coal down and it helps it coke, helps keep the fire smaller and under control. But you don't really need that. With charcoal it's better to stack bricks around to keep the fire in control. And coke I don't work in often enough, but I don't think people that burn coke use a, a watering can too often to keep their coke under control. One of the last tools that I use with a coal fire is just a straight poker and I use that for getting clinkers out. Now that I've got that fire all banked up there, but after you've been working in a while the fire's all kind of tore apart, it's probably dirty and you probably have some clinker in the bottom. And we've discussed fishing for clinkers in the past. I'll try to link to that video right up here somewhere. But you can use that straight poker then to kind of pull the clinkers out without disturbing the fire any more than you have to. Well, that's a really short tool of the day. Not a lot to say about these tools. They're tools you make yourself to suit your purposes. These aren't tools you buy anywhere. So make what you feel like making. I recommend you make all the handles a little bit differently so that you can see which tool you have just by looking down at the, uh, the hearth, you know that this one's a rake and this one's a shovel and that one's a, a straight poker. And of course the watering can is the one over on the slack tub that's covered with rust. Anyways, I hope that was interesting. Give it a thumbs up if you can. Love it if you hit that subscribe button. Feel free to share the videos with your friends, watch more of the videos, but then make time in your day to head out to your shop, make something, stay safe, Wear your safety glasses, and we'll see you for the next one.